hope you're well. Welcome to the So Essential vlog. I'm here today with our latest pattern releases. So these are new patterns that were released in April 2019 and I've squeezed a pattern in that's just gone onto the website today as well. We've got new patterns from Megan Nielsen, Thread Theory Designs, Liesl & Co, um, so to grow and then we've also had a new pattern issue from Vogue and one from Butterick as well as always I've just picked out my favorite from each of these and the rest of them are all available on the site so you can get on and have a look at those the link to our websites below and I've also featured fabrics that are available on our site so I'll pair those with the patterns and make those suggestions and talk you through my thoughts so let's get started with the Megan Nielsen eucalypt dress and tank. So I think this was a pattern that Megan Nielsen released as a PDF originally and it's been so super popular that she's released it as a print pattern, I believe that's the case. Um, it goes from a size, the sizes go from a 32 bust to a 46 bust. Uh, 24 waist to a 38 waist and a 34 hip to a 48 hip. Um, it's a very very simple tank top and um, sort of trapeze or tank dress um, with a centre front seam if you choose to make it that way or you can make it just totally plain and simple and I just think it's a great pattern to have in your wardrobe for summer just something nice and easy that you can chuck on not have to think too much about it. Now the fabric that I chose for this dress is this lovely multicolored cotton lawn and actually I said for the dress you could make the dress with it but I thought as well how nice would a tank the tank top be made in this lovely cool cotton lawn and then paired with a pair of just nice dark blue indigo jeans I think that would just look gorgeous I think it'd be lovely and bright and colorful but easy to wear and nice and cool for summer so that's my first choice I also thought you could make the dress out of this gorgeous tropical print uh, cotton lawn as well which we've got in stock. We have got more of this in stock. This is just, uh, I carried the lighter bolt upstairs, saved myself a job. Um, but yeah, I thought that tropical leaf print, I made a dress in a different colourway of this last year and I loved it and wore it loads. It was perfect for summer and holidays and that sort of thing. So that's the first one from Megan. She's also released the Cotter's Low swimsuit and bikini as well, which are available on our site as well. And then the next one I just had to share with you, and I'm not lucky enough to have somewhere that I would wear this just at the moment, but I think there's a couple of things I might get invited to later in the year, and I hope I do. I hope I have an excuse to make this dress because it is stunning. So it's Vogue 1615. It's a Badgley Mishka design and it is just to die for as far as I'm concerned. It just oozes elegance and beauty. Um, it's just to a totally classic um, strappy evening dress with a lace overlay, um, floor length gown, just you know if you need a knockout dress for a cruise or a wedding or some of the sort of special event black tie do. Um, oh, what a treat it would be to make this beauty. Um, so this comes in sizes from a 30 and a half inch bust up to a 44 inch bust, 23 waist to a 37 waist, and a 32 and a half inch hip to a 46 inch hip. And the great news is that we have the perfect, perfect lace. Um, that would be this same um, sort of colourway as what's featured on the pattern packet, which I just think looks gorgeous. So this is our John Caldor Tocker lace in Royal. And then to pair with that, we've got the John Caldor Mystique satin back crepe, which is a beautiful satin back crepe. And again, uh, yeah, this is the Royal colourway. So you've got the matte side, which has got a slight sheen to it. Um, and then you've got the, the really silky side as well, so I'll just show you that as well. Um, really, really beautiful fabric, really vibrant, gorgeous colour and totally worthy of that knockout dress pattern if you ask me. So fingers crossed, Cinderella will go to the ball, I'll get invited to go somewhere where I need a posh frog and if I did, that would definitely be my choice. Um, the next pattern I wanted to show you was Butterick 6621. 
So this is their new release and I believe this has just gone on our website today as I'm recording this. It'll be hot off the press when you see the video. It's a simple jersey dress. There's options for sort of a twisted knot front um, with a v-neck um, and short sleeves. There's a crew neck version with a sort of tie at the front. And then there's um, a boat neck, almost a boat neck, sort of a lower um, crew neck, I suppose, version with like a side tie and a little wrap over. Um, so I just picked this pattern because I thought it just looked like a really comfortable, easy to wear day dress um, that I think I would get a lot of wear out of if this was in my wardrobe. And I've noticed this year as well, when you're looking at the high street stores and the current trends, I've noticed there's a lot of this sort of something with a tie. Um, so I thought that, yeah, it was bang on trend as well. Sizings for this pattern are the same as the Vogue ones I just mentioned. So 30 and a half inch bust to a 44, 23 inch waist to a 37 and 32 and a half inch hip to a 46. And the fabric I chose to make this up in was our good old plain cotton jersey fabric for John Caldor Cadiz. I chose a nice bright vibrant red just because I like bright colours but we've also got it in some nice neutral colours and um, some darker colours as well so it's worth getting on and having a look at what we've got in that. And then the next pattern, I've put one in here for the boys. We don't often do this because the vast majority of patterns are um, women's patterns, but we do stock men's patterns as well. And Thread Theory do some great men's patterns and they've just brought out, I think about four or five new patterns, which will all be on our site. Um, the one I chose was the Quadra Jeans. So it's a subtly modern take on the classic straight jet le 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 leg jean. <laughs> Um, it's got a slight taper to the leg and extra room in the thigh to allow for lots of movement. They sit below the waist at a moderate low rise and um, they can be sewn in denim with no stretch or a small amount of stretch. If you've got more stretch it just says you'll need to um, adjust the sizing. But these come in a 26 waist up to a 38 waist and a 33 hip up to a 45 hip. Um, and then the large size actually goes up to a 47, uh, sorry, 57 hip and a 50 inch waist. So there's quite a few options there um, for these. I just thought that they look like a nice classic jean and they've got um, all this sort of classic um, design details of jeans, like the flat fell seams and top stitching and all that sort of thing. So um, if you're a guy, it looks like a great make, or if you're a lady and you've got a man that you'd like to make some nice jeans for, I thought it looked like a great pattern. And we have the perfect denim for it, which is this dark blue heavyweight denim because um, it suggests like a heavyweight, very structured denim ideally. And I thought this one would be great and make a super smart pair of jeans. So that's that one. And then onto the Sew to Grow um, Seoul, Seoul Bla Blossom Blouse. So this has been inspired by Southeast Asian style. It's got a V-neck, which I always think is nice because there aren't that many patterns out there with a V-neck on a blouse. It's often a round neck, so it's nice to have that choice. Um, it's got some interesting darts on the front. So um, diamond darts at the front and the V-neck, which obviously is gonna create quite a flattering shape. It's got a curved back hem, so a slightly dipped hem uh, with side slits and side slits sorry and then it's got a nice bow cuff as well just to give you some little interesting details this comes in a 33 inch bust to a 48 inch bust a 25 inch waist to a 44 inch waist and a 35 inch hip to a 50 inch hip um, and it can be made in things like uh, rayon or viscose, um, crepe, silk noir, just lightweight woven materials. We do have a new fabric lined up that would be gorgeous for this um, and that's going to be coming onto the website soon. It's like a lime green with um, white spots on it, it's really lovely um, but it's not on yet so in the meantime I thought I'd share these other options with you. So we've got this nice sort of very lightweight um, blue, it's like a shirting fabric, I think it's clusters on the website, but it's like an ultra, ultra soft 
um, denim so it's perfect for denim shirts and that sort of thing and I just thought a blouse in that paired with like black skinny jeans or perhaps some white trousers or, or jeans um, I thought that could be a really nice sort of wardrobe staple to have and um, would work well with that blouse um, or the other option that I thought about was this lovely I think this is a viscose yeah it's a viscose Moroccan print um, and I just think this would work so well. I've seen my lovely friend Kathy um, of So Dainty made a lovely dress in this and because it's a viscose it's got lots of drape and movement and I just thought that blouse made up in this fabric would work really well again paired with just a pair of jeans and some nice chunky tan coloured sandals um, it's definitely on my to sew list I've been talking about this for the last year or so probably um, but I just think it's so pretty with the bright vibrant green in there uh, I think it would work really well and be nice and summery and then the last pattern I wanted to talk to you about, I should say so to grow actually have released a skirt pattern as well and that's on the website as well. Um, but the last pattern I wanted to talk to you about was Liesl & Co and it's the Rush Hour Dress and Blouse. So Liesl & Co have released three new patterns recently. Um, this is the one I picked because I just thought it had a really nice interesting, it's just a very simple um, blouse with princess seams but it's got a nice peplum on it now. Um, it's a bit of a different take on a peplum though because I'm not that keen on peplums that are, go all the way round um, but this is one that sort of overlaps and wraps <laughs> like wraps round um, so it's sort of asymmetric and I just thought that was a really nice modern twist on a peplum and then it's got a very classic shift dressed in, um, in, included in the pattern as well um, which I just think is useful for most of us, you know, having that classic shift dress in your wardrobe, um, whether it be for work or other sort of formal occasions that you might need it for, for time to time. So I thought it was a good um, sort of value pattern in that respect. The other thing to mention about this pattern and some of their other new releases is it comes with cup sizes, A, B, C and D. So I thought that was great as well. Being small busted, sometimes I have to do small bust adjustments because patterns are graded for a B cup um, and yeah sometimes things can just be a little bit big in that area for me so it was, I thought it's quite nice to have something with the um, cup sizes and just helps you to get a better fit without too much faffing and alteration going on. Um, this, this pattern comes in a 32 inch, 32 and a half inch bust up to a 46 inch bust. 25 inch waist up to a 38 and a half inch waist and a 35 inch hip up to a 48 and a half inch hip um, so yeah I don't think there's a huge amount else to say about it it's just that it's um, yeah princess seam so again that helps you really with the fit um, and there's options for sleeveless and short sleeved and long sleeved um, for the blouse and the dress I suppose because you you might be able to mix and match them um, both of them have got an invisible back zipper um, oh, and both of them have got a Dior dart and instructions for customising the patterns to fit your shape as well so I just thought it was a good opportunity for anyone who suffers with fit issues in the upper body um, to, to have a play around and, and get some advice on that and the fabric I chose for that is the same as what's on the pack pattern packet for the dress um, and that is our mink prestige crepe by John Caldor now this sort of nude sort of colour isn't something I would normally go for anyone who follows the vlog knows I'm a, a complete slave to bright colours um, but I just thought this was very now the one of the key trends for spring is these sort of nude and neutral colours um, it's the colourway they've chosen on the pattern packet if this isn't your sort of bag there are plenty of other colourways in this gorgeous John Caldor prestige crepe as well to choose from so that's all of the new patterns um, that I've picked out but as I said the full ranges are on our website they're all available um, to buy now so you can just click on the links and, and find those um, and that's it from me today really if you like what you see please like and subscribe all of the links are below and I look forward to seeing you next time